This is our model. She has natural hair. And we're gonna do a braided style for her today. So what I'm gonna do first is assess her hair, give her a nice shampoo and a treatment, and then we're gonna go into the braiding style. Okay, before I shampoo, I like to detangle. I normally section the hair in small pieces. And then try to detangle with my fingers first. This will help to have less tension when I'm actually using a comb or when I am actually going in to do the shampoo. So you see some some still have some knots, so we try our best to detangle them with our fingers, and then we go in with the comb. It's gonna be much less tension and less discomfort. Of course, I'm using a white teeth comb and we start from ends to root. Our little client wants to be a hairdresser as well, so we're teaching her some tips as we do our tutorial today. Some persons prefer to detangle their hair when wet. Um, that can be good and that can be bad because sometimes you may um, be fooled by the amount of um, amount of um, detangling that you have to do. So if you notice, I went from roots and I keep going up. Another technique I could show you guys is that when I think that I have detangled the ends enough, I go maybe about an inch in, I pull the comb. If I feel the nut, then I hold with my hand like this and then start detangling the ends again. That way, when I decide to go another inch down, the hair that's tangled in between these portions keep going up. Instead of just taking it from the root and just pulling it hard like this. Okay? We'll be back when I have detangled the entire head. This is her hair. Fully detangled. And apple rice. <laughs> And now we're going to do a shampoo and a deep condition. My conditioner and my treatment. This is what it looks like. And here with the, condi the conditioner and the treatment, I'm going to section it in about four pieces, braid it down, and then put it on the dryer for about 15 minutes. Okay, so her hair is clean, as can be, and it's soft, shiny. We're going to be using the third and the fourth step of the design essentials. It's for the blow drying, and this is for the flat ironing, but we're not going to be using this, sorry, we're going to only be using step three. So in the section, I will do the spray here. I also use this heat protectant. It is a heat protectant, but I also double it up with this. Using the white to comb from the ends.
to drive and I am I have now sectioned it into one two three big portions and then three smallest um, portions so this would be Hey guys so this is the finished look what we did was we curled the ends to give it more of a age-appropriate look because she is a little girl <laughs> I like the curls. I like how it, it plait down. 